Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Uh, I've just been requested to make another Renaissance tutorial and I'm going to try to do this live as it goes. So here I got my space station up in space and I got it into a pretty circular orbit at 250 and 290 or 200,900 meters, so 300 meters difference. So the first thing I will do is go down to the launch pad to my spacecraft. So this is the spacecraft I'm going to try to rendezvous with the station. And it's got booster stage, liquid fuel engine, a uh, big liquid fuel tank and engine to go with it, second stage and the small docking stage that we'll use last. So the first thing I will do is to mark my station as a target and I usually do a catch up rendezvous so that will mean that uh, I'm behind the station when I get into orbit. So we'll just warp until we get the station in a pretty good position and uh, something a little bit out of the coast of the continent is usually good enough. I don't want to come up in front of it and waste a lot of fuel burning to a higher orbit to make it catch up to me. So I'm trolling up and I'm locking the gimbal because the big engine can shake the craft into pieces and we're taking to the sky. So reaching the 100 meters and slowing a little bit down on the engine just to save some fuel when going up. So on this rocket the uh, boosters will first go empty and be separated and then the small boosters on the side will uh, give the extra engine the little push it needs to keep the velocity and then the whole stage will be dropped and then we have the second stage with a big liquid engine and that will give us the final boost up into orbit and lastly we have the top rendezvous part that will be taking the last step of the orbit and taking us to the station starting the gravitational turn because this is a bigger craft than last time I'm starting a little bit earlier and just take it slowly down separation and going for the 90 degrees marker trying to get this perfect the better you get your launch the easier your rendezvous will be but it's not impossible and you have plenty of time to do changes and make your orbit perfect so they will match it so each other so we are physic warping up and reaching 70,000 we can go over to full warp coming up behind the station it looks pretty good and we are doing our final circular burn locking it in and burning the stage will now soon go out of fuel just to make sure no wobbling Cut the engine right before the de-docking, the de-attachment, de staging and we are just burning to get this into a perfect orbit and we can see that my sending nodes and descending nodes is at 1.6 so we'll have to fix that but so far it looks pretty good 
keeping it at about 150,000. That means we have 50,000 meters difference between the two orbits. And the difference between the orbits is what makes you catch up to your other vessel. Because I'm traveling in an inner orbit which is shorter than the outer orbit. And that makes me catch up to the station. Because I have a shorter way of travel. So we are actually pretty close. So we can raise our periaps or apoaps a little bit. Getting it even closer to the station's orbit. So because the difference was the approach speed. The closer I get to it, the slower I will approach the station. So I'm going to take it down to uh, the difference down to uh, about 10,000 meters. That will make it pretty good. And it looks like we're getting very close on our first attempt, so we're pretty happy about that. Turning around. And the navbo has gone into target mode, so I can't see the direction of travel, but I know it's about 90 degrees. And we'll burn these two to get them about 90. And then we have to close this gap. And we do that at the ascending or descending nodes. So hopefully I will not pass the station before I reach reach it but maybe it's not too bad of a difference so 20,000 uh, 10,000 so or I mean 10 kilometers 10,000 meters so I'm burning towards the target watching the intersect points to see where I'm getting closest, I think intersection point one will be the best. Just forgot to look at the nav ball. Keeping, trying to get the um, direction of travel inside the target marker on my nav ball. So five kilometers is pretty good in one minute. So we'll just leave it there until we reach our about 20 seconds. Now I'm going to start my approach. So first I will stop my relative speed to the target, taking it all the way down, getting it as close to zero as I can. This makes it a lot easier and you don't have to think about where you're pointing and what direction your orbit is already in. So now it's about zero and you see five kilometers and five kil uh, wait, uh, 41 kilometers. So we want to do this on the first try. Now we just have to find our target. There it is, locking it in and starting the burn and I want to try to get this within a kilometer if I can do that watching the nav ball trying to get the heading marker inside the target so 800 meters on our attempt here so going outside to watch our approach and we'll probably get the jump there yes loading in the station usually about uh, 2.5 to 2 kilometers you get a little lag as it's loading your station now this station is pretty small because I didn't want to have too big a lag in my tutorial and we're just slowing it down again so that I'm not passing it Finding my target again and burning so we'll get it close and easy. And now, now that I'm in within two kilometers, I'm very careful 
about the speed because overshooting your target is very boring and annoying not the least and we just warp a little closer being careful not to do it too quickly so that I don't overshoot it 200 meters slowing it down to about 10 taking it a little bit closer 100 meters okay about time to stop and I want to be on this side of my station so we'll stop select a new target the docking port and uh, I want to go a little bit above the station so I get some maneuvering space when doing this so that I don't hit the station and we turn on the RCS and I've gone a little bit too close oh panic okay close enough let's open the docking port and we're now getting very close to the direction or place I want to be and just killing my speed now I'm gonna stop using my engine as I should have done a little bit earlier and I'm just with the nav ball going to see where I can push I usually think about the yellow marker as it's pushing down on the target marker so that you can try to push it in front of you and I want to just leave my vessel in about the heading I'm in and just move the target into position and we are pretty much on the marker and just taking it in slowly probably going to miss it a little bit so we just do a little bit of core correct course correction right before taking it slowly and I usually turn off the SAS right at docking and right before I usually feel it helps the docking not rip apart the first second and we are docked so that's a quick summary of the last tutorial that I've done live Tell me what you think about it and I'll see you later guys. Wedding Storm checking out.